Hi and welcome to this tutorial. In this uh, tutorial we are going to export Sentinel-2 imagery from Google Earth Engine. Two uh, important points to take note before we start. First uh, make sure uh, that we have uh, registered a uh, Google Earth Engine account. If you don't have uh, you can uh, simply register for this. It is uh, free and uh, registration is quite uh, simple and uh, straightforward. Uh, second, I'm not going to details about the code. Uh, I'll leave a, a link to the tutorial. Uh, so uh, please uh, check uh, the link uh, below. Note that this is just a quick tutorial to show you how to export uh, Sentinel-2 from Google Earth Engine because we are going to use uh, uh, this uh, Sentinel-2 imagery for our land cover mapping and uh, modeling exercises. Okay, so let's get started. So first, uh, let's uh, let's uh, locate our uh, test site. So I'm just uh, going to type here the name of the place, which is uh, Gweru in Zimbabwe. So this is our uh, the location of our test site. So this is in Zimbabwe. Right. Um, let's uh, locate. Uh, the center of the city. Okay, we can put uh, a marker here. Okay, so this is the center of the city. Right. Um, next, uh, we want uh, to uh, add the uh, boundary for this uh, test site. So I have already imported uh, the boundary into Google Earth Engine. So we are simply going going to assets, and then uh, go to Gueru, and then we are going to upload uh, this boundary into our script. Right, uh, please uh, change uh, the name uh, table to boundary. Right, so I've uh, already uh, prepared this script. So I'm uh, simply uh, going to uh, copy and then uh, paste it into uh, Google Earth Engine. Right, so what we are going to do here, uh, first uh, uh, we are going to uh, get the Sentinel-2 imagery from the uh, Sentinel-2 image collection. Okay, so this is the Sentinel-2 image collection. And then uh, next, we are going to create a, a function uh, that is going to mask uh, the clouds. Okay, so this is uh, quite important. Here we are just defining a function uh, using a uh, the Sentinel-2 QAE band in order to mask uh, the clouds. So this uh, function uh, can be used uh, uh, for each uh, image in the image collection. Right, uh, next uh, we want to filter the image collection by uh, depth. And uh, we also want to sort out the image collection by the cloud uh, uh, percentage. Okay, so here the date range uh, is between uh, January and uh, March, which is the rain season. And uh, we want the cloud uh, percentage to be around 10 or below. And then we're also going to select the bands that we want. So if we're going to have a band 2, band 3, band 4, band 5, band 6, band 7, band 8, band 11, and then band 12. Then next we are going to create a median a composite image. So here we are using the median function to do that. Then uh, we're also going to print uh, the uh, image to the console so that we can check the bands or the images that we have. And next we are going to uh, display the Sentinel-2 
uh, median composite okay in false color here yeah, so in paint 8 paint 4 and uh, paint 3 finally we are going to export uh, the composite image uh, in GeoTIFF so that it can be displayed uh, in GS software or the other software that you are using okay so uh, here you can either uh, export uh, the image here to Google Drive or to uh, Google Cloud Storage right so let's uh, run uh, the script here in the console we have uh, uh, the images that we've downloaded here with the pens okay and uh, this is uh, our image uh, uh, for our test site so next uh, you can just uh, come to task and then run and click run so this is going to create uh, uh, the image and save it in google drive so for this test site it takes about six minutes all right thank you very much uh, for watching this tutorial uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed so that you get uh, alerts if there is a new uh, tutorial see you in the next uh, tutorial bye